Here's how you know if someone's your friend. A, you can tell them bad news. And they'll listen. And they won't tell you why, you know, you're stupid and, and why that bad thing happened to you and how something worse happened to them once and, you know, derail the whole conversation. You can actually tell them bad news and they'll listen. So that's a good thing. And then, this is a weirder thing, you can tell them good news and they'll help you celebrate. And that's a really good way of deciding who you should have around you. Because if you have someone around you, you know, something good happens to you and you're kind of afraid to even admit it because, you know, God, something good happened to you. It's like, th you let that be known and it'll certainly be taken away. So, you know, you, you come out and you sort of tell someone half-heartedly that something good happened to you. and They, they give you a whack and then talk about, you know, so the great thing that happened to them three years ago. Or worse, the great thing that happened to someone that they knew three years ago. You know, it's like... Go away from that person. They're not helpful to you. And they're not helpful to themselves either. And so you want to surround yourself, you've got to think about this. You've got to surround yourself with people who want the best for the best part of you. You can hang around with weasels and losers that are trying to pull you down to justify the fact that they're spiraling downhill as well. And you know, the upside of that is you don't have to have any responsibility and you can all whine about how wretched life is, you know, so that's pretty attractive. But I would say it's also a me bad medium to long-term plan. And so it's, it's acceptable and desirable to try to surround yourself with people who are facilitating your development. You know, and you might say, well, I've got people around, I know them well, you know, they're, they're, they're not doing that well and, and they're, and they don't fit into that category. It's like, what's your point? What are you going to do with them, exactly? If they'll, if they'll listen and cooperate with you and move towards a better future, great. If they don't pay any attention and they keep doing the same damn things over and over and they're not going anywhere and it's painful, then maybe the proper thing to do is say, you just have your misery. I'll go off and have my life. And maybe you'll wake up at some point in the future and think that's a better way of being. Because just putting up with it is, all, well, they call that enabling, right? You put up with that sort of behavior, you're providing tacit consent for it and even tacit approval. It's like, it's a bad idea. You have, I would say, both the right and the responsibility to surround yourself with people who are good for the best part of you. And that's not the same as, you know, I don't have to elaborate on that. You can figure out what that means. Skills, that's another thing you can do in, if you want to increase your probability of success. Every time you have an opportunity to take an opportunity that would provide you with a new skill, do it, right? Learn to program, learn to write, learn to read, read new things, learn to public speak, learn how to introduce yourself to people, learn how to social network, learn how to go talk to your boss in a manner, this is the right way to go talk to someone who's supervising you. I see this problem, and here's a solution, and so I'm coming to talk to you about the problem and the solution. It's like, that person is going to want to talk to you a lot. It's like, because the other people they're talking to are going to come and say, I've got a problem. Can you do something about it? It's like, they don't want to do something about it. They already got 50 things to do, you know? So if you're the person who constantly brings forth a problem, even if they're accurate problems, is why are they going to want to have you around? It's you're just a you're just another problem. Don't be a problem for the people who want to give you money. That's a good rule of thumb, man. You know, if someone wants to give you money, then help them do that. And if they want to give you status and success, then help them do that, right? And you do that in part by bringing them solutions. And partly you do that by developing your skills. And so if things aren't going very well for you, this is also a good way of evaluating an opportunity. Should you take an opportunity? Well, here's the rule. Take the opportunity if it will teach you something that you can use for other opportunities. Because then even if it fails, which it probably will, it doesn't matter because you've accrued something of value that you can bring forward to the next situation. So, you know, there's this old Jungian idea that I told you about. In the Chart Cathedral, for example, <clears throat> the cathedral is made in the form of a cross and the cross signifies the center of the world and the dome signifies the sky and so right below the dome at the center of the world, and it's a cross because the cross is the place of suffering, so that's the center of the world, because that's what you are. You're the place of suffering, right? You're the place of conscious suffering. That's the center of the world. And so, inscribed on the floor is a maze, and you ent it's a big maze, and it's a mandala, and, and there's a, a kind of a flower-shaped uh, resting place right in the center. And what you're doing is walking in the maze, and you walk all four quadrants, and you get to the middle which is where you want to be. You want to be in the middle. 
Well, how do you get there? You walk everywhere. And what does that mean? It means every bloody time you're offered an opportunity, take it and develop your skills. And th that's better than wealth, by the way. In fact, it actually constitutes wealth, because wealth constitutes what you have when someone takes all your money away. Right? That's real wealth. And so the way that you build up that sort of wealth is you turn yourself into someone who's competent in multiple directions. And you can be doing that all the time, right? Especially with the kind of technology that you people have access to. I mean, you can learn anything you want whenever you want. So what a good deal that is, man. And so there's, there's easy fruit hanging that you could pick, and I would recommend that you do that.